hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up like i keep saying in every video you guys excuse the background <laughs> excuse the background okay so today is going to be my goose creek lotion soap and wax melt haul i'm finally getting this up for you guys today i definitely had to prioritize my videos but i'm finally getting around to this goose creek lotion and wax haul so let me just jump right in i don't want to take too much of your guys' time so goose creek had their lotions on sale for i believe $3.99 or $4.99 i can't really remember but they have a nice variety of scents to choose from they also have hand soaps the one thing they do not have is body sprays so that's a little bit disappointing but you can definitely take these lotions and mix them in with your bath and body works products they have really nice scent to them they are moisturizing and they're clean vegan all of that good stuff they don't have any harsh chemicals in them so that is just something to keep in mind if you are not wanting to use bath and body works lotions anymore any lotions that have certain chemicals and things like that in them if you're wanting to switch over to clean goose creek might be the option for you just so you guys know i do enjoy their lotion formula and their scents are pretty good as well bath and body works has a much bigger variety of scents but i think the more recognition goose creek gets the more they will start to come out with scents um more scents for their lotions so jumping right in the first one i have here is candy cane kiss now i was thinking that this one was going to smell like twisted peppermint from bath and body works but honestly it's not a dupe for Twisted Peppermint from Bath & Body Works. This smells more like spearmint to me and not peppermint. If you guys don't know, peppermint and spearmint are two different things. This definitely smells more like spearmint. It's way more icy and minty. So the fragrance notes for this one is peppermint, cool spearmint, white chocolate, cotton candy, and vanilla. I have no idea where they got all of those other scent notes from, white chocolate, cotton candy, and vanilla, but maybe on the skin and on the dry down, this will smell more wintry you know maybe like a peppermint chocolate candy like y'all know those mints that you get from like olive garden maybe it'll smell more like that on the dry down but it's definitely different than twisted peppermint so candy cane kiss if you're into those type of scents definitely check that one out and maybe it could even give you like an aromatherapy vibe so yeah i got that one the next one i have here is marshmallow waffle cone this one is so good you guys because of that waffle cone note i've actually already wore this one oh this one smells so good it has this buttery bakery waffle cone note to it i can't remember what i wore it with from bath and body works but i definitely wore this one already so it's fluffy marshmallow warm vanilla bean dipped waffle cone it's definitely a bakery gourmand scent i feel like it smells like a buttery waffle cone but i guess that's the vanilla bean mixed in with the waffle cone in there but this one is so good so i definitely recommend a marshmallow waffle cone the next one I have here is Vanilla Bean. Now I wanted this one just for a straight vanilla scent, just something not too fussy, very simple. The scent notes for this one is Vanilla Bean, Buttercream Icing, and Marshmallows. So this one just smells like Vanilla Bean. Literally, that's exactly what it smells like. Kinda has mm, like a vanilla extract scent to it. I don't really get Buttercream Icing, but I kinda get like a ooey gooey marshmallow scent as well in this. So it's straight up vanilla extract with a little bit of a marshmallow scent to it. So if you're wanting something just very soft vanilla, something that you could use for layering as a base, then I definitely recommend vanilla bean. The next lotion I have here is Snowman Cookie. This one I was disappointed in. The scent notes are sugar cookie, swirled icing, bakery notes, vanilla marshmallow. I was so looking forward to this because like I told you guys in my Bath & Body Works 595 haul um, video, I said that I wanted a sugar cookie scent i have been wanting a straight up sugar cookie scent for the longest time ever since bath and body works dropped the ball on vanilla bean noel i have been wanting a sugar cookie scent and i don't know what this smells like but it's not sugar cookie i am not loving this scent at all like i don't this is not sugar cookie this is not icing this is not bakery notes and it's not vanilla marshmallow. I don't know what this is, but I'm not a fan of snowman cookies. So I would not recommend y'all getting this. This is what the packaging looks like. It is not, not good in my opinion. And I know they have this in a candle and I'm wondering how the candle smells in comparison to the lotion. But anywho, um, I got Scarlet Apple because this is, you know, a fall scent. Apples and fall like go hand in hand. So this just smells like a fresh crisp apple. 
so pretty this is red apple nashi pear red berry soft vanilla sugared woods mm, it's mainly just an apple a sweet fresh crisp apple scent kind of smells a little bit like apple juice but i thoroughly enjoy that one so i will be getting some use out of that the next one i have here is snow covered apple and i was not expecting this to be a dupe for winter candy apple from bath and body works but that is what it is so this one is bright red apple white snow mixed fruits and sugary candy this is winter candy apple and i'm not mad at it i'm not mad at it i will be using this along with the winter candy apple that i have in my collection smells so good very sweet um it literally smells like winter candy apple i don't know what else to say about it so the next one that i got is carnival apple which i have this in the candle and i love it it smells exactly like the candle legit it has that Mm, it has that really crisp green apple smell to it green apples are a little bit more tart so it does have that scent it does smell like vanilla and caramel has a little bit of a light cinnamon smell to it oh so good so this is green apple sponge sugar light cinnamon and vanilla that is exactly what this smells like love 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 this highly recommend this one um in the candle form as well all right, so the very last lotion I have is Champagne Bubbles. And I knew that I was going to love this scent because y'all know me and my champagne, boozy, wine type fragrances. So I knew I was going to love this one. It is Blood Orange, Pink Grapefruit, Apple, and Sweet Amber. So it's fruity, but it has a warmth to it from the amber. Mm, honestly, I don't get no amber. I just get the fruits from this. But you know what? There is a, like a slight soft kind of creaminess to it i guess that could be the amber but i'm so used to amber smelling very warm oh this legit smells so freaking good you guys like definitely right up my alley this could be mixed with so many different scents from bath and body works it's not even funny so champagne bubbles definitely good for layering this is what the packaging looks like this would be perfection for putting together with other scents Mm, that smells so good i'm in love with that one okay so then i have two of their hand soaps here and i have tried one and i will say that their hand soaps are not as drying as bath and body works i'm gonna just go ahead and say it these are foaming hand soaps and comparing these to bath and body works um, foaming hand soaps these are not as drying at all so i got snow covered apple which i already told you guys smells like winter candy apple and then i got snowy walk which this one is lemon italian bergamot snowy forest and vanilla wood so this one is just a this one is a very fresh type of scent but i definitely get the vanilla woods in this mm. it's it's really a soapy fragrance like this is definitely soapy and fresh but i still get a little bit of that vanilla from this one i really like the packaging on their hand soaps like i like the way that they're shaped and everything and you get 9.1 fluid ounces which is a good size for hand soap so they have Pro vitamin B5, aloe vera, and vitamin E. And again, they are clean, GMO free, vegan, no animal ingredients, all of that good stuff. So there you guys go. Now that's everything for the body care products. Now I have a bunch of wax melts from them and I'm still testing out their wax melts to see how I feel about them. I'm not loving them off the rip, but I have to keep trying them. So the first one I have here and the one that I have been using, as you guys can see, this is cherry cobbler now i really do like this scent i feel like this is authentic mm, it definitely smells like some type of cherry bakery type of scent like a pie or a cobbler like they say so this one smells good and i did have it warming in my warmer already and it does you know fill up that part of my house all the way into my garage so they're nice but the the issue that i'm having with their wax melts is not in performance it is definitely in the scents i feel like the scents are not what they say they are so i did get another cherry cobbler so i have two of those because i do like that scent angel food cake this is another one that i really really like it definitely smells like a gourmand bakery scent and i've never had angel food cake or smelled it before but this kind of mm, it kind of smells a little pineapple-y with a bakery note so y'all let me know down in the comments are does angel food cake smell like pineapples or is it made with pineapples because that's what it smells like to me it smells like pineapples and soft cake so it's really really good i do like that one this one is marshmallows and this is a rendition of marshmallow fireside from bath and body works so i like it um if you're trying to get a straight up marshmallow scent that's not what this is it's more of that fire smoky bonfire type of scent so 
Um, that's what that is. This is one that I was so excited about and it disappointed me heavily. This is salted caramel popcorn. This smells absolutely nothing like salted caramel popcorn. Salted caramel popcorn is one of my favorite snacks to eat during the holidays and I have no idea what this smells like, but it's not salted caramel popcorn. This smells like craft store. I'm not getting a whole lot of bakery gourmand from that one, so I'm kind of disappointed. Um, then we have carrot cake. This is one that I was also really excited about and I don't, I ain't loving it. It smells like spice. I don't get any cake from this and you know what? You know what? I take that back. I take that back. So I have smelled carrot cake before. This does smell authentic to the actual cake part of carrot cake. But what I was wanting from this was more of that icing that goes on the carrot cake. And that's not what this is. So I guess they, I guess they named it accurately. And I guess they are genuine to what they're putting out. Because they it says carrot cake. And that's what it smells like. The actual cake part of the carrot cake. But it's a little too strong and cinnamony and spicy to me. So I don't really like it. I got hibiscus fruit punch and this is just to break up the monotony of all of these bakery type scents that I have going on in my house. And this one smells so good. It's a sweet floral tropical scent. So I do like that one. And then I also got papaya paradise for the same reason. And this one is good. It smells like mm, fruity goodness, fruity sweet goodness. And then I have a couple more here to show you guys. So I have butter cookie, another one that I was very disappointed in because I was expecting that really good gooey sugar cookie scent. Mm, I don't really like it. I don't know. It, it does smell buttery. It smells more like it smells more like dough than the actual sugar cookies. Like when they're baked and they're fresh and nice, it smells more like dough. And I think that's why I'm not loving it. So don't enjoy that one. Carnival Pralines. I thought I would like this one, but this is way too sweet. And I never thought that I would be one to say that. But yeah, this is way too, too sweet. Smells a little, well, a lot lactonic, like a little too milky for me. So I'm not loving it. I don't know what it is about that one, but I'm not loving that one either. And then the last one is apple spice, which because they have the actual pie picture on it, I was wanting this to smell like apple pie. And no, it smells like spicy apples. <laughs> So the names are definitely accurate. Well, for the most part, they're accurate to the scent. And I just went into it expecting something totally different and that's not what I'm getting. So I guess that is why I'm disappointed. But yeah, I'm not loving their wax melts. Like I said, I'm gonna keep burning them and trying them out and just seeing what I get from them when they're actually burning and the scent is in my house. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I had to show you guys from Goose Creek. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing all of the things that I had to show you guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know that you enjoyed it. If you're new, you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the Fragrance and Beauty Army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.